Today we are going to study about the PID controller. As you know, the PID controller is used in many industrial applications uh, for different purposes. So we have the setup here of the PID controller. You can see it here. Also, you can see the blog icon on the board. Uh, you can see we have the uh, we have this uh, step input here, one by S. Also, we have the controller, proportional, integral, and differential controller. We can use uh, we can use combination of P plus I plus D. Uh, we can use P I. Uh, we can use P D or we can use the combination of all of the three. Also, we have the plant. Uh, we can uh, make this uh, for, of the first order as well as the second order system. Uh, we have the feedback here for the amplifier, and we can see how the output would look like. Uh, let us see. Let us demonstrate it on the setup. We have the input, CAD input. Here, uh, uh, this is the proportional plus integral plus differential controller. I can use uh, either of the three, whichever uh, I need. I can use individual proportional if I will connect here, that means only P is connected. If I will connect this, that means integral is connected. If I will connect this one, that means differential is also connected. Let us now start and we will make the first order system. You can see I will connect here the input, square input. I have given the square input. Also, if I first of all, I will use only proportional control. I will connect this one only. Then I will use the time constant. 1 divided by 1 plus s tau that is the plan on to make the first order system and i will give the feedback through the amplifier and let us see now the output on the dso look now this is the first order system i have connected it and we will see the response on the dso first i will connect the input you can see the square wave is coming this is the input and we will compare it with the output as i will i have already connected the first order system and i have given a proportional controller i will give uh, i will increase the gain i will see the how the response is looking like you can see the response is coming but error is more as the gain is less and the steady state response will improve as I will increase the gain by the potentiometer. Look, I am increasing the gain. You can see the uh, steady state response is improving. The error is getting reduced. As much as I will increase the gain, the error will reduce and try to become um, closer to the input. You can see you can see the error is getting reduced and the response is improving. Um, the more I will increase the gain, the more error will get reduced. It will try to become uh, it will try to become a, a like input. And now same, I will I will decrease now the input, and you see how, how the error will again increase, and the steady state response will uh, decrease. You can see I am decreasing. You can see the steady steady state response is decreasing, and the error is getting increasing more and more. Now I will add an uh, integral controller. You see, when I am in, um, adding the integral control, the system has become the second order system. It is the combination of proportional plus integral control um, right now. Now it will depend on. What is the design parameter? What are the industrial requirements? I can um, I can vary the parameter integral control as well as the proportional control, and I can make uh, I can make the system. What is the uh, what is the uh, uh, what I, what is the requirement of the industry? You can see the oscillations will increase or decrease by uh, increasing the pro proportional control or the integral controller. You can see it here. So this is the combination of proportional plus integral control. Same way I can use the differential controller as well, and we will see how the response will look. Now we will make the second order system. Again, we will give the same input. That is step input here. Now uh, proportional control is added here. I will use two time constants. That is one divided by one plus s tau in cascade. I have added one. This is one. This is the second one. And I will give. I will add this time constant here to the feedback. Now we will see the response on the DSO. As you can see, now I have added the integral controller uh, in cascade with the proportional controller and now I am going to tune the integral controller and see the response on the DSO. So when I am going to uh, increase the integral controller by the potentiometer, you can see I am increasing the integral controller by the potentiometer. You can see the response on the DSO, how the overshoots are increasing and the steady state response is improving. The more I am going to increase, the steady state response will improve, but the, the, you can see the oscillations will increase. As you know, the advantage of this is it, it will provide the trans good transient response. It will also improve the gain margin as well as the fail margin. But there are some disadvantages as it increases the order of the system by one which, st uh, which results in the direction of the stability of the system. It is industrial application is used for this uh, for the as a low pass filter so now we will see the pid uh, controller total in total combination let us see now i i have added the differential controller in it 
as you know the differential controller improves the transient response of the system also it produces the rapid response to counter the effect of the rapidly changing errors so now i will uh, i will tune the differential controller and i will see how the response will be so you know already we have got the second order system second order response and now i will increase the differential control as i am increasing the differential control you can see how the transient response is improved the overshoots will die and try to decrease you can see the more i am increasing the differential control the overshoots are dying down and they are coming getting closer to the input so this is used to improve the uh, improve the transient response so in combination now we can all improve the steady state response by the P, uh, pi controller and we can improve the uh, this transient response by the differential con controller thank you very much